Welcome back to day 11 of the Silver Cell refining series of videos. If you look in here, I've got the uh, current flow basically down to almost nothing. And what that means is that this uh, anode filter is pretty much clogged up. We're gonna go ahead and I've got some new filters down here again, and we'll replace the clogged filters with some fresh ones and hopefully get our current flow back up because things have slowed down to a crawl here. All right, let's go ahead and put this up here now. I'm gonna get this thing out of the way. This is the old filter coming up out of here. And we'll put the new filter in. Put the anode bar back on top. Let's go ahead and energize our power supply. And we got zero. I have to let that, uh, Electrolytes soak into that anode filter, make contact with the impure silver shot, and then we should start seeing a rise in the current flow up here on cell number one. There it goes. What's happening is the uh, electrolyte is seeping into the, uh, through the filter material and making contact with the impure silver and that's what's gonna create the current flow through the silver cell. Let's take a peek down in the cell now and see what, uh, what it's looking like in here. This looks pretty good. And now we should, uh, now that we've got that new filter in there, this should start growing pretty fast for us now. Let's give cell number one a little sip of electrolyte. Stir that up. And now that should do it for cell number one. Here's the current flow. It's maxed out at about two and a half amps. I've got a three amp fuse in that fuse holder. So we should be okay here. Here's cell number two. Let's go ahead and get this filter out of here now. Take our anode bar out. Just lift this right on out. Stick it in this container. We'll get this out of the way. We got a freshly prepared filter for cell number two. Let's go ahead and get some silver shot in here. And now what we'll do is get this right on in here into cell number two. Put the anode electrode bar on it. Now we'll charge or energize the power supply. See what happens here. Okay, we got 1.9 amps on cell number two, 2.5 amps on cell number one. Those are both respectable numbers. Now let's look down inside of cell number two. See how it's looking down in here. Oh yeah, that looks good. I mean, uh, <laughs> it's beautiful. Let's go ahead and give this a sip of electrolyte as well. And now, Let's 
Cell number two, maintenance is complete. Here you can see the current flow on the beast is 1.8 amps, and that's not bad. I think we'll just leave it like that. Let's look down in here and see what we got going on. Down inside of this silver cell. Oh yeah, it's looking real good down in there. Let's go ahead and give this one a shot of electrolyte. Stir this up. Oh yeah, look at them crystals down in there growing on the bottom, man. Right there, see that stuff? Well, there's a nice long shard type crystal right there. Growing down on the bottom. That looks pretty neat knock these down yeah this is looking real good this is how we want the silver in our silver cell to look on day 11 Let's stir this up all right i think that'll do it for the beast that weight does it just puts a downward exerts a downward force to keep the uh, impure silver as it dissolves pressed down and in contact with the electrolyte and here's our amps on the beast this will complete the silver cell maintenance for day 11 here's our current flow to the beast Cell number two, looking good. Cell number one, looking good. And then uh, I got these spare anode bars out of the uh, two cells, one and two over here. And I'll set these aside and we'll use those as we need them to keep the anode electrode bars up out of the electrolyte so we can reuse those expensive anode electrode bars. This will conclude silver cell maintenance for day 11. Thank you for watching.